Boys, today I kidnapped my friend while playing Sky Wars and made him talk about some very, very controversial topics and also kidnapped some other people. By kidnap, I meant call them because, hey, it's COVID and I can't take them to my house to record. Well, anyway, if you guys enjoyed this episode, please subscribe and also leave the like. It literally takes five seconds. And if you guys do not subscribe, you guys are lazy pieces of shit. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And one, peace. Two, a one, two, three, four. Happy days, happy days always. Up, put my hand up when I see you in the hallways. It's all good. Turn the music a little louder. I'll be singing in the shower, making minutes be like full days. Cause I'm looking at my watch and got no place to be. Enjoy this moment, cause the next one is to take a seat. I'm on beat and I never miss a single note. You can't swim, so stop, enjoy a subtle flow. Anyway, to get to the purpose of this video, I am with Christian today. Say hello to Christian. Hello. All right, so Christian, um, with the new resurgence of um, Slat and with his new um, video title, that's just or something really disgusting. Just on the lines of that, right? Just yeah, came yeah, out. Yeah. yeah, and you've seen this video, right? Yes, I have. Um, so it, it's kind of like the new like Bernie like Minton, Mittens meme that you showed me like earlier today, and it's yeah. kind of making a resurgence. Um, with with fifty percent of the population both ways, either one um wipe their ass standing up or um or just wipe their ass sitting down like normal people and i just gotta ask christian what are you on this scale i i, I am a proud sitter are, that's the only right way to do it and, and why and why do you because we might have some people you know at home watching this and they may, and they might be proud standers and what do you have to say to that well i'm just gonna say that you are disgusting and that you are wrong I mean, I feel like I feel like all, um, all of us as Americans can agree that that is just wrong. It, it, yes, it, it is. It very is. Much wrong. I mean, I mean, yeah. I mean, if you stand up, all like all like the cheeks like like gets like right. matched together. Right. When you stand up, your cheeks are going together, which means if you haven't wiped by then, that means your shit's just gonna spread everywhere all over your cheeks. Yeah, and then it's disgusting. So, um, I'm gonna. So basically, I'm gonna call somebody right now. Uh, Right. And ask them how do they feel about this new resurgence. So I'm gonna call them right now. It's gonna take a little bit, but uh, Christian, would you like to say anything to the people at home? All I gotta say to you guys is I hope you guys are sitters. And if you're standers, if you're standers, then I, I will gladly talk to you and help you through your tough times. This might be his voicemail. Hello? Yep, this is his voicemail. I'm I'm dying right now. Wait, one second. One second, people at home. Gotta just combo this man real quick. Oh, no, I died. Alright, let me call somebody else. Uh so So Christian, how do you wipe? Um you you wipe towards the back or do you wipe towards the balls? I wipe towards the back. That's again, there's there's two rules of wiping that must be followed. It's like you have to be sitting and you wipe from front to back. Ah, all right. Let's see if he picks up. But you want to hear something really bad? What? I know a man that. Hey. Stand. Uh, hey. Uh, you're being recorded. Are you alone? Uh, just to making sure because it's a serious topic. You know the serious topic. Even though I'm being recorded. Yeah, you are being recorded. What do you want? Um, it's about the question. Do you um wipe standing up or sitting down? He's a goddamn stander. Oh. We caught a stander, everyone. A stander in. Uh. I'm ashamed of. It's it's hard to me. Is that Jaden? Oh yeah, that was Jaden. If you guys I'm don't know Jaden, that is one of my friends who I hang out with most times. And as I die here today, I just want to say that um, that the fifty percent of you who do um, sit down on their toilets and wipe their ass, I I support you guys fully. But if you guys stand and watch my videos, the only way to get out of that is to is just to subscribe, and that's the only way that you can become cool in the uh, Rickard Boy channel. All right. Uh, so I'm going to call another person. Uh, Christian, would you like to say anything else? Um, hmm. 
And I think just I hope everyone here realizes the true disgustingness of standing. Yeah. The more you think about it, the worse it gets. Hello. Hello, Gage. Are you by yourself? Yeah, I am. Um, so you are being recorded on this call. I'm just letting you know. Uh, uh, okay. All right. So it's a serious question. We already talked about this before. Do you stand up while you're wiping, or do you sit down while you're wiping? I I already explained this. <laughs> Standing is dominant. <laughs> I just want you to know that the that the community of of people who are listening to uh -huh. this disagree with you okay. fully and i just want you all to realize six, that six of them. all six of actually it's seven of us um okay. <laughs> um so okay. so i'm just gonna ask you some questions real quick if you if you don't mind oh, no. if you don't mind there's a point where i might hang up all right so um so what what be so were you always a stander this is like an interview at this, this point. This is this is an inter interview at this point. Um, and you know the answers to all these questions, so you're just wow, that was a scar. Um, uh, it's it's for the recording, dude. Here. I mean, I just I I kind of wish that you were just playing al along instead of being, you know, a quote unquote asshole. <laughs> ha ha ha! <laughs> funny. That's the joke. Okay. okay. All right. All right. So were you always a stander? So so so, what made you take the um take the stand to stand in? I don't know. I just I I guess I just naturally evolved. You naturally evolved. Yep. So so so, how does one stand up and wipe their ass without letting the 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 stuff get smeared? Smeared by what? By 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 the shit. Because because when I think about this, because I I'm a sitter, and I, and I feel like you because you <laughs> were one of us, you, and and I just gotta ask Gage, how how do you how do you prevent the 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 stuff, the brown sticky stuff to like not catch on everywhere? Sticky? How do you know? Not how it it just doesn't. I don't know. So 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 why do you so what's the problems with sitter downers nowadays? I don't know. I didn't even think this was a topic of conversation. Talk this is a topic of conversation. I, I, it's, I, I guess I've never had a problem with them because I didn't even really think about them existing exactly. I mean... Uh, okay, so... So, so you, know, you realize that 50%, 50% of the population are standards and the other 50% are standards, right? Mm -hmm. Because you watched the J Slat video, right? No. Oh, you did not. No. Then why the hell are you here? Get out of my fucking recording. You called me. Bye, bitch. God, I showed him. So as you can see, folks, that I was mean, another he's a standard. standard. He deserved it. Yeah, he deserved it. Yeah, I, I like most, like, like now, like most of my friends are standards, and it's fucking unbelievable, Christian. And it's and it's fucking disgusting. Let me tell you that, yeah. Krishna. It's fucking disgusting. It's very disgusting. But but the only way for you guys who stand up and watch my videos is to is to subscribe to Record Boy. And I just and I'm just saying that's the only way that you can make it into heaven. This is now a God stream now. <laughs> the only way to get into heaven is to is to sit. Because no one prays standing up. Knees down, hair up. That's how. That's how our, us as Americans pray. And I just died. Christian and I died. And I just failed the parkour. Well, while well, we're talking about failing, um, so how are your classes doing, uh, this year, Christian? Because of all this COVID stuff, to move on to our next um subject, yeah. I actually do have a list for this. Um, so our next subject is about COVID schooling. How is it going for you, Christian? Uh, well, right now it's actually going good. Before, I mean, it wasn't going great. I mean, I mean, as we can see, because uh, so how is like internet? Is your internet like running fine? I mean, I hope it is yeah, because you are in the recording right, right now. Um, but my internet's doing quite fine. All right. 
that's good. That's good to hear, Christian. Um, so any any yeah, have you heard any interesting stories of the COVIDs? Like happened like to COVID, people? COVID. Um, no, any? I don't really know of many people who's gotten COVID. Really? So yeah. so we can all say that COVID is just make believe at this point. <laughs> make a wish. <laughs> it's a make a wish. We can make a wish. <laughs> We can make a wish, but is it for s certain? Probably not. Oh, crap. I forgot that guy had strength. So, Christian, to our next topic. Are you ready for this? This one's a doozy. All right. Hit me with it. All right. Roblox or Minecraft? Which one will outlive? Minecraft. And why do you say that? Well, I mean... Minecraft is, they say, more popular and versatile game than Roblox is. I mean, but Roblox is free I to play with, like, thousands of servers. Which I think that's true, but when you actually think about how much time people spend on Minecraft compared to how much time people spend on Roblox, it doesn't really compare with each other. Um, so could you also make the argument of, of it just being for kids? And would that I and would that be a downfall? You could for say it? that it's just for kids, but I, I mean, mean, I mean, because we play it sometimes play. together. Yeah, and I, I just died. Can, and I think we can both agree that both of them are going to be around for a while. Oh, uh, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, until like World War One happens, or <laughs> yeah, World War One. Yeah, when World War One Part Two comes back, I mean, we're all going to be <laughs> fucked. World War One. That's not World War Three. It's World War One Part, part two. two. Yeah. <laughs> No, it's more like World War One Part Three because you know we we're kind of not original, and you know Ricker Boy, C R uh, Co. As you can see with our first topic of the day, because I just found yeah. it really interesting because I didn't even jump. Um, I didn't even I like I really found it interesting about like that, and it really opened my eyes, really opened the cheeks, spreaded them, you know. Really. Yeah. Um. Spread your cheeks. Yeah, so Christian, just a basic question so we can just ease back into it, you know, reel it back, per se. Um, so what's your favorite um, season of the year, Christian? Ooh, my favorite season of the year. This is really controversial. You do not have to answer this if you don't want to. I will gladly answer this. All right. Hit it. I think my favorite season of the year is going to have to be fall. Fall. See, I'm more of a winter type guy, um, because I do love the snow and I love and I, I love the, the idea of cocoa. Pretty. Oh yes. Oh okay. I mean, oh. I think at the amount of times it snows and then like at night it like, you know, makes it like bright outside. So I'll be like sitting there in bed and I look outside and just it looks all pretty. Oh yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah. The snow's like really pretty. So um, why do you pr why does one prefer the fall? Compared to everything well, else. to me, I think that's where the weather is the best, in my opinion. Mm. So it's um, more like, like you like the idea of sweater, weather, or weather, because you, because, sorry to expose you in real life, Christian. Well, Christian is a, is a really, really big fan of hoodies, and he wears a lot of hoodies. Like, if you true. open up um, his, like, dresser, like, you can just see nothing but hoodies, and it's kind of <laughs> weird. I'm not even going to lie. Kind of need to open up your horizons, you know, uh, wear something well, new. Well, if it wasn't just cold. I mean, yeah. And I just died. How did he make that Yeah, jump? I think another reason about fall, I mean, I think it's the most, uh, I think the snow is pretty, but I think fall is the most beautiful. And is that because of the leaves? Yes. I mean, I need the leaves are just. Yeah, I mean, with its, like, um, colors and stuff. Yeah. Know? Yeah, colors. How much, that's a good thing. How much of the leaves do you get to enjoy? Because... Um, no. so I, so I, I, um, it doesn't really affect me because I am purple and, uh, blue colorblind on that uh -huh. spectrum and, um, it doesn't really affect me. I can still kind of see it, but it's more kind of bland. Mm -hmm. Um, but I mean, I just, I mean, I do like fall. I do love, I, I actually, and nobody talks about this enough, the smell of fall. Uh, the smell is very nice. Yes. The smell of fall is just so nice and it's just so reminiscent. Like Nancy, and like where we live in the U.S. is really, really like it smells really, really cool. Like it isn't too hot and it's neither too cold. It's just right. It's 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 usually like sixty degrees here. 
you know, not trying yeah, to dox us or anything. Yeah, I mean, our temperature can be very weird. Oh, yeah, our temperature can be extremely weird. Um, but I'm happy that we don't, like, live in, like, anywhere, like, too hot. Because I really, really do love enjoying all the seasons. Because, like, it, I don't know why, but, it, like, it's, like, somewhat of a nostalgic feeling to it. And I'm quite happy to say that, um, that I'm happy that I get to experience the snow. Because, like, um, when you watch, like, some, like, YouTubers are like, yeah, I live in L.A., you know. I'm like, dude, I'll rather live in, like, Wyoming and experience the snow rather than having, like, no snow at all, you know? Yeah. Because, like, everything's, like, so bland. It's the same thing, like, every single time. Nothing really changes. And then and then you just kind of, like, forget about, like, winter and stuff. And, like, I feel like, like, these, like, big YouTubers going out to, like, L.A., they forget about, like, what makes the climate of the U.S. super cool. And it's the fucking snow and the leaves and the, everything changing, you know? Yeah. It kind of puts you in that move, mood because, like, when you think of Christmas, you think of snow with Santa, his sleigh, his reindeer, the icy cold, and then Rudolph with his red nose. And then, dude, what? Um, Santa comes on a fu- on a jet on a fucking jet ski. Yeah, no, thank you. No, that, I guess there's one advantage of when does have Christmas, and I'll just tell you, I am a sucker for winter decoration. Or oh winter, yeah, but Christmas decorations, like oh. Ooh. Oh, um, you Christian, you want to tell happy. them the story of um, Dark Vader that you always like try to do every single Christmas year? Oh, yeah. So it started a few years ago where so my family in the morning on Christmas morning will open up our presents and they tend to have like a fireplace or like a picture of a fireplace on the TV. Now they really just do music, but it's what they used to do. So what my siblings and I decided to come up with was that we wanted to ask them. That instead of showing a fireplace burning, that they played Darth Vader burning on the TV screen. Yeah, uh, they, and they I feel like agreed. that's like such like a whole like 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 that story is like just really funny because like watching just Darth Vader like kind of burn is just kind of <laughs> like like <laughs> when so I usually think of Christmas. So it made sense. I mean, when I think about Christmas, I think about you tie carols and stuff like that. But not nah, you went straight. You went straight for it of exactly. just blood and murder and. Uh, Ooh, think about Christmas. I got a controversial question for you. Uh all right, hit me with it. Is Die Hard a Christmas movie? It is. It is. I and, and I'm happy to say that it is. Even though I have Thank never you. watched um Die Hard in my life and maybe we should watch that next uh Christmas season. When that com- yeah, uh when no. Christmas comes it's around again. It, it is. Uh yeah, I I always I always refer as like Die Hard as like a as like a Christmas movie because like my my parents always said that and I like I feel like I feel like oh wait Nightmare Before Christmas Halloween or Christmas because I <sighs> because I have some things for that I think it's more Christmas but I like to use it as a transition not as a designated holiday movie if that makes sense yeah um for me I kind of think like for those like emo guys who who are out there and probably watching this video right now um that um that um like i feel like that's a i feel for me sorry if i'm stuttering a bit that it's a really really good christmas movie and i think it is a christmas movie because of one thing it's just the setting of it and then Mm -hmm. like you have this guy who's like dead and hasn't probably experienced anything like that experienced christmas and he's like a little kid you know like a little like little little boy who like gets to experience or like what's this what's that there's white shit everywhere what's this like you know that meme yeah and like i don't know i feel like it's more christmas because it's showing the the eyes of somebody who has never witnessed this christmas that doesn't make sense yeah Sometimes I think of it as a transition, but if I had to choose one, I'd be choosing Christmas. Oh, yeah. How did I die? I was such an elf. Yeah, um, I can I can agree with that, like, transition thing. Um, because I, I really, I actually really do love the Boogeyman and, um, and Nightmare <laughs> Before Christmas. Because Ooh, I love his actor, and his song is just so good. Wait, who plays him? I have no idea, but, um, if you can look we that up for him. me. Yeah, I love him. I love his voice. Uh, if you can look that up for me while well, I... Let me perish real quick on the game. Alright. 
yeah, after you're done with perishing, <laughs> uh, real quick, um, if you can tell me. I will. Yeah. Be very helpful. And also, I would like to thank um, um, you guys for watching this video. Um, I turned out I didn't perish. I just straight up murdered the last man. Oh, okay. Well, that's good. That's always good to hear. <laughs> you know, nothing like um, chestnuts roasting and Anakin's body burning to death. Ah, uh, exactly. Yes. All right. Let me find out the name of this bad boy. Okay. Boogeyman. I'm the boogeyman. Boogie, boogie, boogie. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> like, you can call him the Mr. Boogie Woogie Boy, but I mean, I'm just not going to agree with you. Uh, he's played by Ken Page. Really? Never heard of that yeah. guy. Where am I getting both from? He's 67 years old. He was born in St. Louis. Really? Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah. Uh, funny thing about St. Louis. Uh, me and Christian um, um, visit that actually quite um. Uh, a lot. Uh, I mean, I'm. I think. Um. I think. Actually, do you visit St. Louis a lot? Because my family does a lot. Because when we I were heading to Florida to. this Christmas, uh, we we visited visit it a whole lot. I used to go there, not so much anymore. No. Uh, yeah. Um. Yeah, like like when we were like going like by like Florida on our trip on our on our uh two day trip to Florida, uh. It was, mm -hmm. it was, like, when we passed the St. Louis Arch, it was so cool, even though it was kind of, like, underwhelming. Yeah. Because when I think of, because, like, when you see, like, the arch in, like, pictures and stuff, it isn't as cool as people make it out to be. Like, it's cool, but yet you expect, like, bigger, way more. Yeah. Yeah. And Once also, bigger, like. You just expect more, like, more of it to stick out. Oh, yeah, and, like, Not when just, you're in, like, history class, arch. they're, like, like, because wasn't that where, like, the World's Fair was, like, one year? And then that's when, like, ice cream was discovered? Mm -hmm. I think, I, 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 I'm, I'm not sure if that's right, and I probably need to get fact track on it. But, but I think, um, like, St. Louis is, like, where, like, ice cream was kind of, like, invented. Let me just win this game real quick. Goodbye. Um, skill? Question All mark? Skill. skill. <laughs> I tried to put a question. Alright, I just want to say uh, thank you guys for watching this episode, and I just want to give a special thanks for Christian for helping me out with these videos, with the editing and such, and Christian, I just want to thank you personally for that. No problem, dude. Well, anyway, this concludes today's episode of Richard's Talk. This is the first um, time of me trying this. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I hope that we can get 100 views this episode and like 5 likes. I don't know. I'm a desperate man. Please give me views.